It's B-Dog. It's Black Mountain. It's break 80 time. We're trying something different though. Today we tee off on hole 10 and play the course the other way round. B-Dog doesn't know it, but I actually want him to get through hole 12 ASAP. So today it's his third hole. I don't want that hole to derail us again if we play the course in the correct order. Since the last round, we only focused on stroke shaved, wedges and chipping, eight and nine iron, driver and four iron putting. The greens were lightly sanded and were a bit dry on this day. How will this affect the putting? Let's find out, boyfriends. Oh, what a shot. What a man. Get in there. Beauty, matey. I mean, boyfriend. <laughs> Birdies are great bonus scores, but the best you're going to do is minus one. Stroke shaved tells okay. us to minimize big errors. A bogey instead of a triple saves us two shots. This is science. If you offered me a five on this hole for $100, before we started the round, I would buy it. B doggy is in prime position again off the tee on the 12th. I am literally standing off to the side, praying to every deity known to man, please, do not go long left. Please. Please. And with that shuri, it's confirmed. God does exist. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy he is short left. We have a shot at four from there and an almost guaranteed five. I know B-Dog's little flopper he likes to hit. I stepped in to correct the aiming spot. B-Dog was going straight at the pin. That would lead to a five at best, probably a six. The slope will kick it big time left to right and with a lot of pace. He needs to float the ball up and land it high on the slope. I know it will spin left to right like it always does. This is mistake mitigation 101. Get the ball on the green, but when you have the shot needed, try to get it closer. Hello, Yeah, good chip, Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> 50, okay. Hit your, hit your seven iron. Seven iron. Yeah, hit your seven iron. We're going to get that 170. And I, not quite over the gap, bro. Yeah. But more just, just on the left side of the gap. Left of the gap. Just on the left of the gap. Normal seven iron, no need to do anything special, just a beautiful seven. B Dog is turning into Paige Spirinac by giving me heart palpitations. We're on Great the previous shot, hole and it feels like we're in a hole. But then he summons his inner beast and produces two of the best shots of the round. What we said about five yards right of the pin. It's gonna be great up there, it's much more flat surface there, okay? Yes, that's the shot of the day. Right here. Okay, we're going pitching here 144. The reason is because I like a standard pitching for you. I'm gonna leave you two, three yard putt up the hill. A really solid pitching is going to get you two yards past the pin. Sure. I'm loving the pitching here. I'm just going slightly right of the hole. Slightly right of the hole. Why right? Because if I do pull it, it's going to... No, 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 no. We're not thinking about that. Okay. 
We're not thinking about that. I'm thinking about you hitting a dead straight shot, in like you always do, yeah. at the pin, maybe left of the pin. Beautiful shot. Okay. Beautiful shot. Give me a commitment. Give me a commitment. See the shot and be sure of that shot. I know you're going to hit it like a bass. That one you hit there on um, the second hole, remember? See, little fader in the hole, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, a little bit short, but good. Little fadey. Yes. Yes. Go. No, target hole. Okay, good fun. Baby. Jam it in the back of the jaw. Watch B-Dog's head and shoulders. Do you see how they open up before the downstroke? He has actually always been a solid short putter. The dry, quick Bermuda can get inside your head. Watch it again, but this time, watch the putter face. I admit, we didn't focus much on the short putts. This is what happened when we don't follow stroke shaved as we should. Oh, what a shot. Nice shot, over. Yes, dude. Over. Okay. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we've got a 90 yard shot. High, playing 100, up the hill. Listen, listen, babes. I want you going at that fire tree, okay? <laughs> the, the, no, no, not, not because I think you, anything can happen. If we go at the pin and we go longer than 90, okay. it, there's, no, it's just like there's not much. You got like, you got like so much space. All that whole fire tree yeah. is fine. But I want you to go left side of the fire tree. Yeah. On those orange ones. That's the shot. Oh man. Bro, that is, I, I don't even know how good that is, bro. You don't even understand how good that is. And your pace is literally, here's your hole. And between here, this is your hole. This is where you want to roll the ball over. That's the pace of the flat cut. Here we go. The dispersion on B-Dog's long game is tightening okay. and it's going to help us a lot in the future. You can see that once you have it nailed down, it's all about the eight iron and shorter with a particular focus on the wedges. All Big Doggy did was hit the ball too hard. Remember, in stroke Let's shaved, open. you never have to hit a shot hard. If you do, you should be using left loft instead. But here's where the hours on the practice facilities are going to show. Oh yes, man. Beautiful. Yeah! Bossy! <laughs> That's another stroke shaved. That line, nine. Ball above the feet. Ball above the feet. Going to take a little off, and uh, the rest should be easy as pie. Oh, what a shot! Oh my gosh, dude! Sit down. Oh, 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 dude! Yep, turn it now the other way. Yes, player. Yes. Not a great strike. No. But a great drive. But straight. Great drive. Straight and great. B Dog, I must apologize. That's a great drive. <laughs> Man, how are you feeling with it? Hybrid versus four versus six. How are you feeling? Four is out. It's, four is it's, out. It's done me, done me dirty today. Okay, you got a, you got a hybrid. If you're hitting a hybrid, you generally it's going to go beautiful or right. Uh -huh. 
right you have a lot of space but you're pitching over the bunker uh -huh. if it's me i'm giving you six iron okay. to lay up to have a nice 60 degree pitch birdie i mean you love that six oh, I love and it. you can hit that six straight at the bunker in front of you the left edge of the building you see the the loof yeah the like off green loof yeah at that That is uh, straight down the fairway. It's safe. That's straight down the fairway. We've got a wedge in and we're laughing. Yeah, that's good. We have to accept prior to any round that we will drop silly shots. We will drop shots. Dropping shots is a default setting if we're trying to break anything but par. If you finish under 80, under 90, or under 100, you're dropping shots. We can try, and we can expect pars on each hole as our mission. But we must accept when it doesn't happen, and not be upset about it to the point that it affects our game. b -Doc has got that in his system now. Oh, That's man. power. Great shot. Okay, 103, what you got? 60. It's a perfect club. Down breeze. And a little leftish of the pinner. At that little uh, little piece that comes in. Oh yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. On. Yep. Yep. Yeah, good putt, good putt. Okay, no marking. Great job, baby. Yes! Yeah, we take it. About 220 to the flag, it's fine. Let's do a little pitchy. A little pitchy, pitchy. Great. Shotty, shotty, toddy. Perfect shot. Oh, lovely, lovely jubbly. Right. Lovely jubbly. Now, I think, don't, I mustn't hit before you. Okay. Because I'm ripping. Yeah. And then I'm putting the ripping energy into the, you. I can't handle the power. And, and it's contagious. That overflows me. Really. Exactly, it's contagious. And you don't need to be surrounded by that kind of BDE. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you want to just calm it down, bring the B dog energy. Not the not the big Richard, okay? Yeah. We want to be playing with medium Richard today. So it's okay. We're lying three in the fairway there. On in four. One putt for the for the passkey. Done. I think it's a sixty. Done. Sixty. I think it's a sixty because we've got the wind with us. The pin is on the front, but it's about it's about seven yards on. If you can get it just over my ball, as in as in just left of it. Mm -hmm. To land over it, I think you're going to be money there. Okay. A 60 is a great club for you. No need to cream it, eh? Beautiful shot. Perfect. On the green. I just don't like the 56 there. You catch it too well, and we're dead. Get that high on the slope. No problem. 
I want to do this one with my love. Correct. Yeah, so I still have brain farts, but they're just, there's more space between them. Okay, six iron at the people. And we're not going to reach the people for all the sensitive people out there. They're far away. That's considerably right. You know. We choose a 7 iron here because the shot might be a flyer. The distance is perfect for a 6 iron, but I didn't want to be beyond this pin. If he hit it into the front or middle of the green, we'd be perfect. The bunker is okay, and he is good from sand. If you offered me a 5 on this hole before the round, I would have also taken it. Okay, probably bunker. Bunker. Yeah. Oh yeah, tasty. Turn it, turn it. Turn. Head up. Yeah, that'll work up there. Good shot. Good shot. 100 yards, 56 degree. We're going to lose about 10 yards from the sand up the hill. It's a beautiful shot. And I want to see you hit that at that funny tree. On the left? Yeah, because you, you want to... Let me think. No, uh, between there and the pin, between that tree and the pin. Oh, what a shot. Oh my God. On the green, girls. Perfect baby, that is so pure. Have you heard it land? This is where I failed the bee dog. I let him hit the full club to the green. With the score the way it was, we needed a par or a bogey at worst. The slope on the fairway is going to pull the ball left. The wind is blowing to the left. The ball will go further with the pull and the wind. I should have given him the pitching wedge. It would have stayed short and allowed for a short chip or yeah, even a putt on onto slope. the green. Okay. Instead, we ended up in the left bunker with a long carry to the green. This was very poor on my part and apologies to me, Doug. But that doesn't mean we just give up. We have only three more holes left, and I expect a driver wedge on the next hole. I expect an eight or nine iron on the par three, and I expect a driver seven iron on the last hole. We are still on track. Yes, big boy! Yes, 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 yes. At your best, yeah. In every round, at your best. I'm sorry. Sure. Get in the hole, man. Oh, wow. What a shot. Yo, what a shot. Get up. Be enough. My favorite spot. How, how does a ball move in that direction? There was much praying taking place. Like I even brought my prayer beads. Oh, yeah, B-Dog was starting to make rumbling and bumbling about a 60 degree cringe fringe shot. I have outlawed that shot completely this round and forevermore. He needs to trust that sensual putter. He has performed with it every time I tell him to use it. This time is no different. 
the 70s are calling and they want you to hit the putter. Stroke shaved. Hit <laughs> an easy touch, shot bro. to set up another easy shot. Did you just get cabbaged again? Good man. Big, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if it went 300, but it cut the corner and I don't care. We have a sand wedge into the final green and we're seven over par. I'm confident this is the day. This is the moment. Beautiful shot. Get up though. Get up. Get up. Okay, not bad. We're just a little short. That's the perfect place to miss on the hole. There is no other miss possible for an easy up and down. I am still very confident that he will get up and down. I hope that wasn't for the, I hope that wasn't for the 78. <laughs> it was not meant to be today, players. Can you see how fine the line is between an 80 and a 79? It's a missed two-footer here. It's a rush of blood to the head chip there. It's one putt that burns the edge of the hole. It's a wedge you pull left. It's a club and shot selection away. That's golf, and that's why we keep coming back. Stroke shaved dictates that B-Dog must stay after the round and jam 52 footers in a row before he is allowed to go home. Remember players, you just need to get out of your own way. B-Dog looks relaxed. He put in the hard work and has transformed his swing and strike. He needs to accept his rightful position as a beast and soon to be 80 breaker. He has the skills, he just needs the time.